Hey, howdy, and welcome to Right for Canada. Right for Canada, what's right? I mean, Canada's left. Canada's now officially a socialist country. Socialism doesn't work. People have been trying it for thousands of years, and it doesn't work. I mean, communism is socialism in a hurry, and you got Canada now. What do we do to make Canada right? Right? I don't like the political connotation with right. I like right versus wrong. And I think Canada's on the wrong path. It truly is. I mean, let's go back to Upper Canada and Lower Canada. Am I a separatist? Absolutely. Because the 416 area codes I'm talking, 416 and 905, they govern everything that we do out west. Everything. I mean, I remember when I was a young guy. I mean, I don't think I was 21 yet, and they just changed the voting age down to 18. And I raced to vote for the first time. And before I got to the poll, it was about 7.30, quarter to 8 at night, closed at 8. Before I got there, they announced the prime minister of the country. And I thought, wow, how's this happen? <laughs> they don't care about us. They don't care about us one bit. Not one bit. Now, we have to change Canada. How do we do that? In the West. We can make changes. I mean, we can do that. Look at the media, the press, the liberals. They own it, effectively. They certainly control it. I think the number's upwards to seventy-five, maybe eighty thousand dollars per person in the press that is subsidized or paid by the liberal government. Hitler did that. He bought everybody a transistor radio, and then he gave the message to them. He did all the messaging. So. What's the point? Hey, there's a big point if you're on that side, I guess, because for some reason they want to take our rights away and they dumb us down and it's not nice. Are there any press places left in Canada that, that aren't subsidized? I don't know. Not very many, certainly. I mean, um, I just don't know who they'd be. Western Standard, for sure. I, I mean, they fight every day. Rebel News, I'm not sure about them. I don't know if they take grants or not. I know Western Standard does not. Me? I know I don't. I've been doing this for a long time. I have another website called writeedition.com. Most of the audience is in the U.S. And, and I've never taken a penny from anybody. I'm ridiculously rich and I look after what I do and I'm entitled to an opinion. And if you don't like my opinion, that's okay as well. But if you do like 1% of what I say, I win because it'll help the country. So I'm just a patriot. I'm just a dumbed down kind of worked with me. Hey, just share it. Now, look at Prime Mistake Trudeau. Uh, he just recently announced that two Alberta people would join the Senate. Uh, two Alberta people, but look at them. One is a Liberal Party board member and the other is a, a homosexual advocate. And now they've been appointed to fill these two positions. There are 105 Senate seats in Canada. Trudeau has appointed almost 90 of the 105. That means that his legacy is there long after he dies. His father did the same thing. I mean, the country was ruled by judges for 30, 35 years after he left office because he put everybody in place. So don't screw up my communist system, right? Us pinkles, we got to stick together. And that's what this guy has done because it's nice to hear that we get a conservative government. They'll fix things. Can they? I don't know. You have to go through the House and then you have to go through the Senate. How do you get through the Senate when they're all appointees from the commies, right? Wow. I mentioned homosexuals, so let me do more of that. The <laughs> Toronto Dominion Bank. I left them years ago because I can't handle it. I, I don't care what you do in your life. Go marry a bale of hay and I could care less. That's your right. But it's my right to say that you can't bring your bale of hay into my house, right? 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 Are you with me? We all have to have rights. And the governments work hard at taking those rights away. Toronto Dominion Bank, they're into the homosexual thing. I mean, you walk into the bank, stand in line, have videos of men hugging and men kissing. I go there to bank. I don't go there to, to enjoy or see somebody else's lifestyle. They have signage outside. They have all the rainbow things. And here's what they say <laughs> with the wordage on a window. There is no better feeling than being accepted for who you are. Okay, I get that and I agree. What about me? What about me? I'm a gun guy. I want to open up a bank account. I tried this and said, I'm going to open up a gun store and it'll be legal and the cha-cha. What about me? And they said, ah, we don't believe in that. We won't do that for you. I said, really? If I was homosexual, would that be okay? <laughs> Probably would be. You get the point. It's all about freedom. So it does come down, particularly in the West. We all need to look at this thing in a real different way. Right is right. Left is wrong. Hey, you all come back.